Today we need to get into the new label merging in with the old label Hive and the situation with people concerned over the BTS reunion being in jeopardy. We need to get into people saying that Scooter Braun is going to take Jungkook solo and what this rumor is about. And then we also have people saying that V should leave the label and others thinking that he has talked about this and that he might. So any dumplings and save to say hate it or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on and make sure you join us fangirling on Patreon and let's go. Recently, there was a merger of two labels. Of course, we know HYBE, and then they merged with UMG. UMG, or Universal Music Group, is a pretty well-known music label here in the US. They manage pretty much every artist that you can think of. That's a huge name, such as Justin Bieber, Ariana Grande, etc. Now, both labels are partnering up together, and I'll talk more about this at length a bit later. But this only really allegedly came into fruition due to the help of Scooter Braun, who is the new CEO of HYBE. Now, normally this is a pretty big deal, but a lot of people are very unhappy with the actions of the current CEO and also very unhappy with the fact that BTS is associated with an American music label or associated with anything American. Now a lot of people were talking about how they were very happy that when V had his solo album and his solo release that he was not a part of UMG at the time and they were very glad that all of that was released before his label merged with this American label. A lot of people are saying things like they are very happy that these disgusting men of UMG are not associated with V in any sort of way or at least with any of his art. Now there's been a lot of accusations about UMG and what they are and I think a lot of these accusations if the label UMG were to take legal action on they very much could as a lot of these accusations are not only defamatory or completely baseless and are really really bad and I'm not talking about accusations like oh they're kind of bad I'm talking about accusations of people in the label touching kids and those sort of false claims other claims that I've seen are people saying that UMG funds the genocide that is going on over there in Israel one of those claims are coming from the fact that there are Jewish people in the label and then that makes them people who support genocide. Just say you hate Jewish people and then go. There's no need to say all this roundabout stuff. And then a lot of these people online aren't even just saying that they hate Jewish people. They're blatantly just saying that Israel is bad. What are you saying by saying Israel is bad? You're saying Jewish people are bad. Now people like to use quotes that the members have said in different contexts and then make them fit. A specific context or a narrative that they're trying to make fit now. And when it's related, sure, it makes a lot of sense and I think that it can relate. For example, if BTS members have spoken up about their love of supporting different gender identities, different races, all those sorts of things, and then we're now taking that and applying it to what's happening now and saying that, yeah, they do love and accept everyone because they said this a long time ago, that relates. But oftentimes that's not really what's happening. People like to take things out of context and they like to use quotes that don't exactly fit. People like to use moments in which it was clear that V was joking. For example, there was one moment where someone asked V who is the biggest villain to overcome and he answered a bang pd which is quite obviously a joke another moment in which he answered with the specific quote no matter what the relationship is with the label he signed with the label to see them happy and for some reason people use this as a quote to say that he is unhappy with the label this actually says that he is willing to remain loyal to the label because he actually loves the label i don't see it where it says anything actually negative people also took this as a sign that he was actually going to leave the label and that he should leave the label eventually but I don't think that that is what he should do. I think it's clear that he knows that he's going to be happier with BTS and with the label. People also think that Scooter Braun is going to go ahead and take Jungkook away from the label and also take Jungkook away from the BTS reunion. There's two types of people in this scenario. The first one just thinks that Jungkook should leave in general and then he should have left and had considered that because he is quote unquote better than all the other BTS members. And then the other half is just scared that he will leave or that these Western people, these people of power are going to influence Jungkook to eventually leave and convince him to leave. He is not stupid. If he ever thought about leaving, he'd just leave. I'm sure the idea of going solo has already crossed each of their minds. They still don't want to do it. Many people are really upset with the direction of the label recently and they don't want their favorite artists to be associated with such a label. And a lot of people who are big Jungkook supporters and only support Jungkook essentially want Scooter Braun to kind of take away Jungkook from the label. Now, do they want specifically just Scooter Braun to do it? Not really, but they want someone to do it. These accusations are so wild and crazy that they span from people saying that Bang PD has done inappropriate things to minors, accusing him of debuting idols that are super young, and being upset since UMG has artists that have done bad things. For example, there's recently been a scandal with P. Diddy, and he was accused of doing some awful things. I'm not entirely sure 
sure what the verdict is or whatever, we will eventually see. But the community is now super upset that the label is now in direct ties to someone who is in UMG and has done terrible things. Keep in mind, no one who hears what P. Diddy has done or accused of doing is thinking BTS is involved. Now, every time someone from UMG has any sort of scandal, Hype is going to get dragged on Twitter. Like, really? I was also seeing accusations online of people accusing what Scooter Braun did to Justin Bieber to be some sort of abuse. And then now going on the lines of saying that Scooter Braun is going to do the exact same thing to Jungkook. And I find this really interesting because a lot of these articles that were circulating around that were supporting this accusation of Scooter Braun sort of grooming Justin Bieber were articles where Scooter Braun was talking about being a father figure to Justin Bieber. So much so that Scooter was engaged in a disciplinary action as Justin Bieber didn't really have a father figure in his life. Now this is where I say if you hate someone everything they do or say is going to annoy you because there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Justin literally didn't have a father figure in his life. Justin's mother liked having Scooter around because Scooter was able to look after Justin and look after him well. Any accusations saying that this is apparently what Scooter wants to do to Jungkook? This is where I have to say that the community likes to infantilize Jungkook so much that they still believe that he is just a kid. Jungkook is literally an adult. He is not going to be influenced by another 42-year-old man who might have opinions or stuff. Jungkook also grew up with a father figure. He doesn't need another one. Jungkook also doesn't idolize any specific person like Scooter Braun. He doesn't look up to him. He doesn't specifically say he needs direction from this man. He just used Scooter Braun to make an album. To go as far as to say Scooter groomed Justin Bieber was already super far and a stretch of a conversation. Also, let's not talk about the fact that if it wasn't for Scooter's involvement with Jungkook, there would never even be a concern of grooming with Justin Bieber. Bieber. No one would even care. But then to jump from this accusation of grooming a little 13-year-old kid, that Scooter Braun, a 42-year-old man, is grooming a 26-year-old. He's fully grown. He cannot be influenced by another figure at this point in his life, as he is literally so powerful. The dynamic of grooming only works when one person is not only older, but has more power. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the label Hybe and UMG kind of merged and started working together. People were not happy about this for various reasons that I mentioned earlier. But what are the specific reasons that they believe due to this merging together that it's going to disrupt the community so much that BTS might not even have a reunion anymore. And this is where I think everything is such a stretch to go from two labels coming together to talk about how that is going to result in an entire plan or everything being ruined. It's just not going to happen. Was it announced that BTS won't continue to do what they're going to do? But nothing was announced. Like UMG will not be taking over HYBE completely. And this isn't even the first time that the label HYBE has used UMG. A lot of people believe that this deal was solely done because of Scooter Braun. However, Hive has used UMG in the past to release their Japanese albums, so this relationship was always there. However, it might not have been in either Bang PD's mind or any person that was working at Hive to merge in this specific way, which is exactly the job of a CEO, which is exactly why labels bring in different CEOs is because they have different ideas and they have different thoughts on how they can expand and grow a company. It might have been Scooter's idea to rekindle old relationships and connect the two companies together. However, this wasn't a connection that wasn't there already. So please stop this nonsense. I don't think the BTS reunion is going to go anywhere. I don't think that we're not going to see BTS in the future because of two labels working together. The comments online are so dramatic and so unnecessary that they're going through accusations that don't make any sense. And I hope that they realize that if the labels were to take legal action on these people, that they literally will win because these accusations are so baseless and so, so bad. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks, just love the comment right here. Love you, bye.